Hey guys, Vans Furniture, Furniture Restoration, Vans Furniture Restoration here. Hey, we went to the Big Stick store today, and we got ourselves a big old chunk of beam right here. We're going to make a mantle out of this. It's a beautiful yellow pine, and uh, you can't see it right now, but there's a beautiful knot right here on top that we're going to, yep, we're going to give this thing some character and some love. We're going to sand it off. Uh, make it look uh, a thousand years old. It's already pretty dang old, but uh, we're gonna make it look even older than it is and then uh, dress it up and wax it up uh, Wax it up and dress it up. So it looks decent on a mantle. It's a gonna go in a house in Rainbow, California It's an old Adobe, so it's gonna fit right in there So yeah, first thing we're gonna do is uh, cut it down to size because it is a chunk of wood man so I uh, got my little handy-dandy chainsaw out. And we're just gonna uh, Cut it down to five feet. We're also going to make um, corbels for it. Uh, co a corbel is this guy right here. This is a huge one, obviously. Can't see it because of the light. But that is a corbel, and it it's uh, they were designed to support up underneath. But anymore, the way I lag them in, the way I lag them to the wall, um, this is just decoration is, is all it is. I mean, I'm sure it would help if the uh, there are three quarter inch lags, four of them, and they they hold like two, three fifty a piece. Yeah, it's, this thing's not going anywhere. So the corbels are just there for decoration. But uh, we're gonna cut some corbels, wax them up too, and uh, make a match, and it's gonna be beautiful. Can't wait to see the end, end project. All right, we got a little more aggressive with it. We uh, I took out my four inch grinder, and uh, this is a sanding wheel. My dad, father in law, calls it a flapper wheel. So I don't know if that's uh, that's the correct term for it, but what we're doing we just got a little more aggressive and we're we're taking some uh, Some more contour out and uh, always around the knots again. I, you want to celebrate the knots So I've, I've gone and, and, and grinded all the knots really flat and uh, when the wax hits that it's just gonna have so much character There's another beautiful knot right here and we are really gonna sinuate what I'll do is I'll take out they got quite a bit of material here and here with the four inch grinder and then uh, we want it to be rounded and weathered like uh, windblown. And so we're taking all the all the edges off and then I'll go back and, and sand it. I want to leave as much of these saw marks as we can, obviously, because uh, that's the beauty of the piece. Because if you um, if you just wanted a beautiful straight piece of wood, you'd go to Home Depot and get a straight piece of wood. But uh, being that this is a, uh, I don't know, 100 year old beam, 100 plus year old beam. Uh, yeah, we want to leave as much of the patina as we can, but still, Still make it look like a beautiful piece of furniture, so... My daddy built me a house Up in the sky Alright, as you can see, I've kind of uh, uh, focused in on this one knot. Uh, just want to give you a little uh, precursor to, to the beauty of wax. What we've done is I've, I've taken my my flapper disc and sanded that or 
ground it basically flat, and then I hit it with uh, 100 with my orbital sander, and then uh, 220 with the orbital sander. And uh, now this is just simply wax. There's no stain or anything. It's just a pure, clear, globby wax, and it's beautiful. And watch this. Pow. Look at that. That looks like furniture. Can you dig it? I can dig it. And now what I've done is I've actually given it some motion. I've, I've brought it down from this ridge right here that I've, I've uh, carved out. And then I, I, I uh, brought it down this way just to give it some movement. See how that, that flows like this? We'll leave the rest of it pretty raw, but in some spots I wanna give it some, some really cool movement. And uh, when this buffs out, it is gonna be gorgeous. So yeah, um, the wax I'm using is just a simple um, Verithane paste wax natural they have the darker waxes I do really like the fids f-i-d-d-e-s uh, it's a little more pricey but uh, it's it's worth it but the color we're going for here this is actually kind of too dark um, but uh, the woods gonna denote what color we got um, but it is coming out beautiful Wonderful transformation, transformation of the end with just simply wax. And wow, look at that. Woo. Yep, looks like a piece of furniture. Love it. Waxo, waxo, waxo. What a beautiful color. What a beautiful piece. Ta da! It's been a very wise man that said don't do anything by hand that you can get a machine to do. Uh, buffing out this wax would take a long time by hand. But I found this online. It's a brush attachment that attaches onto your hand drill and uh, literally makes short work of what would take a couple hours. Ends up being, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So let's buff it out. And I saw a new heaven. And I saw a new Blended that right in with my torch. So let me see if I can show you what I'm doing. Got my little thunderstorm torch. Just gonna lightly toast it into the other color. No burn. I always be careful with fire. Obviously, I know exactly where my fire extinguisher is at all times. I keep it really handy. The wax is actually igniting, so it doesn't scare me, because we just wax it. We're just going to toast it up a little bit to get it matching. And the parts where it does turn black or dark like that, I'm just going to lightly sand it off because it's a beautiful toasty color underneath it. There we go and a little sanding and a little uh a little more wax i might even add a little dark wax on there to blend it a little bit but uh it looks a lot better because it looked like a skunk stripe before and it looked uh looked like new wood and we want it to look like old wood cool all right boys and girls we're gonna call this one a wrap i'll give you uh, some video of the finished product stay tuned because we still have to make corbels and we're going to mount it 
in a beautiful home uh, with a view just amazing. So uh, here's a here's a shot at our at our beautiful beautiful piece. Uh, the lighting really sucks, so let me start on this end. Da -da -da. And there's our end. Woohoo! And let's walk it down and get some of that. Beautiful, beautiful look to that thing, huh? Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. There we go. Let me show you what we started out with. Started out with this chunk of monster chunk of dark yucky. And uh, there we go. So once again, uh, thank you for watching Vans Furniture Restoration. I hope that you would uh, like, subscribe, and share and all that. It's, uh, it's, it's an honor to share my craft with you. So any questions, anything like that, hit me up in the notes. I always watch for them, and uh, hopefully I can get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Have a great day.